Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, through the weeks and the weeks, <laughs> they go by very quickly. But every week I try to tell you new things that I discover, thoughts that may come to me during the week that I want to pass on to you. And also try to talk to other people and learn things about fishing in our area that I can pass on to you. One of the things that, that I've been thinking about, because I've been thinking about how I can be more successful if I go out trout fishing. And here's the point. Every fish has different habits. Every fish is shaped differently and, and they feed differently. They strike differently. They fight differently. And I think this is really important for you to realize. You know, one of the country western songs, and I can't tell you what it is, but I hear it almost every day as I'm traveling and listening to Q Country. And the song starts with the guy saying, and, and the, it, it's about the excitement of that first cast and seeing the line rush out as a fish picks it up. And that is, is such a strong, strong experience that it becomes part of a country and western song. Well, what's he talking about? He's not talking about a, a trout striking because they don't do that. But I remember as a kid fishing in the Genesee River and in the summertime, the smallmouth bass would, would make their way into our part of the river that was a trout stream. And so now it was full of smallmouth as well as trout. Well, when I would get a strike from a smallmouth bass and one of my favorite baits was a crayfish, I'd throw it out there with very little weight, just a tiny little split shot. And then... When a, when a smallmouth would hit, you'd see your line shooting out. Your line would start going quickly. It was exciting. That's the way they would strike. A trout wouldn't do that. A trout would come up and nibble and bite and follow and do that kind of thing. So it's a whole different experience. And if you can understand that, then you can better understand what type of baits would be successful, used successfully to fish for these different species. In other words, a smallmouth, and we know we cherish our smallmouth. That's what's made our area famous. Smallmouth bass have the, the heart of, a, a, of a, a, a gladiator within them. They fight more than almost any kind of fish. They strike in a different way. They dash and they run. And, and when you hook them, they'll come at you at, at the, the, the greatest speed you can't even imagine as they're trying to win that battle with you. Other fish will will hit totally differently. A largemouth won't pick up the bait and run away. That's what smallmouth do. They'll hit it and they'll dash immediately away with it, with their prize that they've just got. A largemouth won't do that. Trout don't do that. So when I think of the lures that I want to use, I know that a, a, an escaping lure might be more successfully used for, for smallmouth than, say, for trout. Trout want to look at that lure. They, they, uh, if you're fishing a pond, a lot of times the trout will follow and follow. You'll feel little nips, little nips on your on your line as that trout is coming up and just nibbling at the back of it. It's just a whole different type of fish, and even different species of trout will react differently. For example, of all the trout, I think a rainbow trout is the 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 most noble the one that fights the greatest, that leaps out of the water and you see the glimmering colors as it, as it shines against the sun. Whereas a brown trout or a brook trout are much more conservative in a lot of their motions. And so fishing for them, you would use different baits. And I think it's just another thing that as we become, I guess, more obsessive fishermen is it becomes a bigger part of their, our life. We want to get better and better at it. And we want to learn more and more about what makes what would make us a better fisherman. And I think understanding how each of these species is a little bit different in how they swim, how they feed, how they react will help us to be <laughs> more likely to be able to catch them. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.